South America 15 million years ago. A monster creature called the terror bird is the king of beasts in this terrain. This would have been a very powerful weapon. For the only time in history, a bird is top predator on an entire continent. Then, the terror bird treks 7,000 miles to North America. Here, fierce wolves and saber-toothed cats rule the land. And the giant bird has a fight on its hands. In this epic conflict, who would prevail? The birds from the south or the beasts of the north? In the chronicle of life on Earth, dinosaurs reigned as history's greatest predators. They ruled the planet for 150 million years, but came to a sudden end 65 million years ago. Many believe an asteroid or comet killed off the dinosaurs. Once they were gone, the job of top predator was open. Mammals would become great predators on the rest of the planet. Evolution took a strangely different turn. The continent was a giant island laced with open savannas bordered by forests. Here, the mammals were docile plant eaters, ranging from large sloths to bizarre armored creatures such as the glyptodont. In this setting, the role of top predator went to a family of freakishly monstrous birds. Today, we call them the terror birds, and they ruled for 58 million years. If you look at the head, it's enormous, like in all terror birds, and such a force that by hitting a prey, it would have possibly killed the prey almost instantly. Gigantic predatory bird. Hooked beaks and sharp talons are two characteristics terror birds share with all modern raptors. But scale it up to the size of a six foot, 400 pound bird, and the result is frightening. A fact that the peaceful plant eating Homolototherium may have experienced firsthand as it faced the terror bird Kalenkin. Slow on its feet, the 600-pound Homolototherium outweighed Kalenkin by 50%. The kill required a specific strategy. To go for the base of the skull and to try and paralyze the animal. Once the prey was down, a terror bird's beak was all about shredding flesh a familiar behavior in birds of prey, even today. A small animal scrambling to hide may have had little luck as the terror bird would easily scoop it up and swallow it whole. A shocking example of instant gratification. If this was part of terror bird behavior, they may also have coughed up pellets of undigested fur and bone, as predator birds do today. Which strongly suggests it was a highly active predator rather than a scavenger. Some large carnivores, bears for instance, are also scavengers, relying on their sense of smell. What might have been going on inside its brain when the terror bird came across prey such as the glyptodont? The glyptodont, the terror bird, could have figured out that if it got its foot underneath the edge of the animal's shell, it could flip it over on its back and expose its soft underbelly. South America was a cornucopia of prey for Kalenkin and its relatives. 
But nothing is forever. Our planet is an ever-changing one. And for the terror birds, the paradise of isolation would begin to crack with the rumblings of a volcano. Until 1961, scientists thought terror birds lived only in to migrate to North America. When volcanoes filled the gap between the two continents, the resulting land bridge made migration possible. The birds expanded into familiar savannas now accessible by the new route. The terror bird needed its speed for the new prey it encountered. Chasing a swift horse would have been a challenge for Titanus. The fastest running birds in today's world are ostriches. Similar in shape and size, they offer us a way to figure out how terror birds ran. I'm fairly confident in reconstructing terror bird locomotion as something like that of an ostrich. Since ostriches can easily run 30 to 40 miles per hour, they're not easy to pin down for a demonstration of their technique just as ostriches can today. During a high-speed chase, Titanus had to run to the side of a primitive horse to avoid kicks from its hind legs. The terror bird struck effectively from this offset position. Gray wolves today, but larger than a coyote. Hunting in a pack, the wolves are there to steal the terror bird's prey. But this is a challenger they've never seen. They depend on instinct and spread out. Neither side can sustain the tense standoff. And one swift exchange will prove decisive. Making a willing sacrifice, the wolves prevail. Lesson learned, the terror bird withdraws. Its native intelligence driving it to change its hunting strategy. Well, Predators also pose the danger to terror bird eggs. Scientists believe they were similar to the eggs of ostriches, which are eaten by modern predators. In today's world, predators may be able to scare ostriches away from their eggs. Male terror bird with her chicks out for a stroll. One of the chicks wanders a little too far away from the group. Saber-toothed cat jumps out and grabs it as terror bird chicken dinner. Not so fast. Mother terror bird springs into action. Into offensive mode itself use its claws to go for the breast of the animal. But here, the terror bird has superior weaponry. It strikes with its giant head again and again. The cat is killed. But too late to save the unlucky chick lying nearby with a broken neck. Life in North America must have been more difficult for the terror birds than it was in the South. Here, it faced predators like the cats and wolves, destined to evolve into the giant mega beasts of the future. In its final home in North America, it didn't just survive, it thrived.